Hi, hello, welcome to VHDL Basics. Today we are going to see how to write into a text file and read from the text file in Verilog HDL. So there are two types of write into a text we can do in Verilog using two functions dollar write mem h or b dollar write mem h will write a hexadecimal value into a text file dollar write mem b will do binary data write will be written into the text file likewise we are having dollar read mem h or b to do the read from the text file if you want to read the hexadecimal value from the text file you need to use dollar read mem h if you want to read the binary value from the text file you need to have dollar read mem b here the text file should contain binary value if you want to read the if you want to use the dollar read mem b if that text file contains hexadecimal you should use dollar read mem h okay so in this example i am taking test bench uh, to show you uh, um, how to use these two uh, these four functions actually so uh, first i am creating uh, two memories called uh, mem underscore wr mem underscore rd so write memory and read memory you can call it that way and then I am uh, in the for loop, right? Uh, so, uh, so if you see the depth of the write memory is nothing but uh, 0 to 15. So, uh, uh, for loop I am creating uh, 0 to uh, 15. Inside that uh, for loop, I am uh, loading the memory uh, of each location using uh, i into 4. So, uh, so your first value of the i uh, is nothing but 0. So, the memory. Um, will contain uh, 0 in the 0th location so likewise uh, multiples of 4 will have in the all the location actually so this is how I am creating the uh, mem write okay uh, memory file actually uh, memory uh, content actually then uh, I am planning to write a, a binary value into a text file so uh, dollar write mem b inside the bracket uh, we need to have uh, uh, text file path as a uh, uh, inside double quotes actually then comma then you need to give the uh, write memory uh, to write into the text file so i am giving uh, uh, mem underscore wr and then you need to give the start location and the end location of the memory which we need to write into the text file after that uh, uh, so, so uh, same thing if you want to write into the hexadecimal then I am giving a uh, um, uh, dollar write mem h same thing uh, the, uh, another text file and then same memory here I am giving the different start address and end address so that we can differentiate uh, what is the uh, uh, use of that start address and end address we can show you uh, I will show you in the simulation relation actually then I am uh, um, reading the uh, um, binary value from the text file so for that I am using dollar read mem b inside that we need to give the uh, text file path which we are going to read which should have the binary value since we are using the read mem b then in which memory you need to load that uh, text file that I am declaring this as mem underscore rd that we already uh, uh, declared in uh, line number three so that memory also contains 0 to 15 uh, uh, location each location contains 8 bit data okay so this particular read mem b will be used in uh, uh, most of the design for loading the memory and uh, loading the ram as well rom or ram we can use this uh, read mem b or read mem h to load the particular memory for uh, when you are going to synthesis right uh, you can use this dollar read mem b to load the uh, content uh, initial data for the memory or uh, uh, memory actually 
now i am going to uh, simulate this and i will let you uh, uh, explain with the waveform as well as the text file so this is the text file which we uh, uh, written uh, in binary format so if you see the first location uh, so we are writing 0 to 15 location right so the first location is 0 and then uh, second is we are having uh, 4 and 8 and uh, c then 1 0 like that all uh, multiples of uh, uh, 4 we are getting here if you check with the waveform so uh, the register mem underscore wr uh, if you see this data is matching with respect to the text file so uh, 0 th location if you see 0 and uh, 15th location if you see 3c here also we are getting 3c okay uh, so this is the binary format which we are writing from the uh, very log now uh, we, I, I will show you the uh, hexadecimal file which we written from the Verilog actually. So uh, if you remember in uh, uh, write mem h right, so we are uh, we have given the start address and the end address as different than the binary uh, one. So here uh, I have given location start location as one and end location as fourteen right. So if you see here uh, the uh, data from the uh, mem write location 1 that is nothing but 0 4 that is the first data in the text file and if you see the data from the 14th location which is nothing but uh, 3 8 that is what we are getting in the text file uh, last data actually so this is how uh, we need to use that uh, start and end address so in that task right so if you don't want to dump all the memory content into your text file you can give that start and end address to uh, 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 write it also if you want to split that memory content and you should have you need to have separate text file also you can do that actually from using that start and end address now um, I, I will show you the um, uh, read memory waveform uh, with respect to the uh, uh, read mem uh, b uh, uh, text file content so so this is that uh, text uh, binary text file which we have uh, given uh, in the uh, read mem uh, b okay so if you see the text file um, so uh, the text file uh, starts from 0 and 4 8 c uh, 1 0 and then ending with uh, 3 C so that's what we are getting here uh, 0 4 8 and uh, C 1 0 like that it is going on so if you see uh, it is matching with the uh, te te uh, text file actually so whatever the file which we are giving uh, input to that particular uh, read mem b right uh, it is matching uh, so from this uh, file that memory mem underscore rd has been loaded okay now i will show you the read mem match for that we need to change the code so here instead of read mem b i am going to put read mem match instead of binary file i am now going to change that as a x file and uh, i am going to change the start address and end address as well so that we will uh, see the difference of that start address and end address in the simulation now uh, we will compare the simulation result if you see um, this is the uh, hex file content which uh, we written from the uh, dollar right mem h so there also we have given start addresser 1 to 14 so from that memory it has written the first location to 14th location the same thing we are doing here we are reading this memory text file content into the uh, memory loading into the memory uh, from uh, 1 to 14 only so if you see 0th location uh, we haven't loaded any data also if you see the 15th location we haven't loaded any data with respect to the uh, uh, start address so uh, start address we have given one right so that uh, memory uh, of, uh, location of one we have the content of 0 4 that is the first content in the uh, text file which we have given as a input file and 14th location if you see that is 38 that is the last content of the text file hope you understood the functionality of dollar write mem h 
hrb dollar read mem hrb and it will give you the syntax and you understand it hopefully you understand it well thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos